seven steps to speed up the law of attraction using your spiritual powers. Now I'm super excited for this video because for a long time actually, I was practicing the law of attraction after watching The Secret and reading the book. And actually, I would say that sometimes the law of attraction would work for me and sometimes it just wouldn't work for specific things. And I wouldn't know the difference why and sometimes I find small goals was easy but big goals were extremely hard and sometimes some goals will take a few years to actually manifest. But until I started to realize from the trainings I received from Grandmaster Akshar up in the Himalayan mountains was that actually manifestation and all forms of manifestation can actually be instant. So we're gonna dive deep into it today, but before we go into it, show reel, hit it. What's up guys, this is Sri Akashana here. Namaste to all of you. And in this video, I'm gonna uncover the seven steps to speed up the law of attraction using your spiritual powers. Now, some of you may be thinking, what is my spiritual powers? Actually, these things can be found through the whole seeker's journey. This is what my master always talks about. And that's why today, what I did was, before I came onto this video, I was trying to break down all of the things that actually happened up in the Himalayan mountains with all the trainings that I received and how do I actually dissect it and make it step by step so it's actually um, uh, easy to understand for all. And I came up with these seven steps and the first thing we dive deep into it is the presence of mind. And so how are we gonna do it? We're gonna actually do this practice together so we start becoming more aware of what's going on. So what happens is our brain is processing so much information every moment, whether it's a conscious level or a subconscious level. So it's very important to understand that thought equals manifestation, meaning that if we are manifesting a thousand things at the same time because our brain is processing so many things because it's vibration attracting vibration, then we will be attracting so many different things. It's almost like placing an, an order on Amazon and then they've got like a million parcels needing to deliver to you and they're trying to figure out which one to deliver first. So by clearing and emptying the cart and having presence of mind, by narrowing down just placing one order, it will be Amazon Prime. It will deliver much faster. So how we do this, I want us to do this together. If you sit up nice and straight, if you close your eyes just a moment and feel Take a deep breath, inhale, and slow exhale. So notice the noise level and how much is going on in the mind right now. And notice when you again take a deep inhale with me slowly. And slowly when you exhale, relax the mind so you take away all thoughts, no thinking. Now what I want you to notice is this. Has there been a shift in your energy? Just by two breaths. Does your mind feel calmer? Is there slightly less thought? And if there is, this is your first understanding of spiritual power. Using breath work, we can immediately take our presence of mind into a very, very powerful state. And when we do that, what happens is our sensories heighten. Always understand this. When mind is suspended, thought is suspended, our senses heighten. When our senses heighten, our connectivity to the divine becomes much stronger. Then moving on to number two, right, is breath work. By advancing on breath work, what we are able to do is increase our connectivity to the divine. Now, um, what I usually teach um, my students and disciples is usually teaching what I call breath work to heaven. And there's multiple ways to be able to do this. And one simple way we could actually just experience right now together is by using something like flutter breath. Okay, It's not the most powerful, but it's easy for everybody to do and that is by breathing four times per second. And let me tell you what happens when we do this. Four times per second is. 
So really, really fast and it's really intense. When we do that, what happens is it automatically gets rid of gets rid of the thought because you are so focused and it's so intense on the breath work. And when that happens, mind is naturally suspended. But beyond that, what's actually happening is we are raising our vibrational frequencies to come up towards third eye, which is actually the entry point for manifestation. So by breathing so fast and we hold it for a prolonged amount of time, a breath work like that will be very powerful. However, there's a lot of other breath works when I usually teach breath work to heaven, there's actually seven breath works we work on in sequence. And that's when you can really get that high connectivity. So breath work will be a very, very, super, uh, very powerful, super powerful for you to actually raise your vibrational frequency and connect to the divine. Now, moving on to point number three. It, this is what I call knowing you, right? The biggest thing is like this, right? If you don't know yourself, you can't align with yourself. So I don't know if you've ever had this before. Maybe you're trying to visualize something, but whenever you close your eyes, you can't seem to visualize the thing you want to manifest. But most likely the reason why that is happening is because that is actually not within your Dharma, your destiny path. And so what happens is maybe sometimes teachers or parents or somebody can condition our mind to think a certain way. Then our goals are determined by them. I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, my dad said to me, you've got no university uh, qualifications, you've got no college degree, you've got no qualifications, you're, not, you're an introvert, you're a shy boy, you don't know how to communicate with people properly, like you don't communicate with people. What are you gonna do if you don't do school, right? And I didn't do school because I was a college dropout. Now, as a result of that, what he said to me, he said, you can only re work in a restaurant all your life. So what happened? My first job was in a restaurant. My first business was restaurant. Actually, I did restaurant for six, seven years and I was feeling so unaligned, disaligned, and I didn't even know why. I lost all sense of purpose. When one is not aligned, your manifestation powers actually decrease. So you cannot be distracted by the misalignment. And so how do you actually find perfect alignment with you is to first know who you are. I'm not talking about your name and how you think you know yourself right now. I'm talking about beyond that. And we're gonna do a quick exercise. It's going to expand your consciousness here. I would like you to do this a second. Take your arms and wrap them around yourself. Wrap them really tight, close your eyes, okay? Now, wrap them around yourself, hug nice and tight. And I want you to ask yourself a question here. And that question is, I want you to ask yourself, where am I? So find yourself right now. Are you in the brain? Are you in, are you in the heart? Where are you? The one who's sensing, who's feeling this right now, where are you? So be the one who's feeling the hug. Experience the hug, hug nice and tight. Now experience the hug. Be the one experiencing the hug. Feel how tight it is. Feel how safe you feel, how enjoyable this is. It's, I know it seems weird to some of you, but it's happening and you're feeling it. Now what I want you to do is I want you to be the one who's hugging. Squeeze, the person you're squeezing, squeeze nice and tight, hug. Be the one that's hugging now. Don't feel, just hug. So now ask yourself, where are you? And slowly release the arms. Okay. So just there alone, by doing one action, you experience two different experiences. One, you felt something in the heart. The second, you were, you were feeling the squeeze. You were squeezing somebody. Now, so the question comes, where are you? Right? Are you really positioned in here? Are you positioned in here? Are you positioned in here? Actually, understanding you is multiple levels. That is why it's very important to know how to connect to your higher self. Because when you do, you understand yourself, your purpose, why you're here and what you are actually wanting. And that's how you start aligning, by knowing yourself. So then moving on, number four is alignment to higher purpose. So how we understand this is understanding the timeline between past and future. I want you to understand this. Every single thing you think of is already done, right? Have a think about that a second, what I just said. 
everything that you can think of that you want to create is already done. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? Well, first off, it's a science. If you understand that not, no, uh, we are energy, energy is everything, everything is energy. And energy cannot be created nor destroyed. What is thought? What is idea? It's energy. It cannot be created. It cannot be destroyed. So what it means is it can only be transferred. So when you think of something, it is already energy that is already in existence, meaning what you want to manifest is already there. When you understand your timeline, you understand purpose is what has already been done. Now, I know it's very, very difficult to wrap your head around that, but if you start on this seeker's journey, right, whether you practice with a master or whether you practice with a coach, right, and you start finding, digging deep into understanding your higher purpose, because let me tell you something, I was going around 30 years of my life not knowing my higher purpose until I finally realized, hey, wait there a second, why was I going around in circles and why wasn't I fulfilling my legacy, my purpose of why I was here in the first place? That is understood through a very powerful meditation process of timeline meditation. And this is what I take a lot of people through. And, it's, and if you guys want to learn more about that, maybe just comment in the comments below and then we can discuss a little bit more on timeline meditation. Because then you'll be, understand, you'll be able to understand what, what we call past life is not really past life. What past life is actually future, but that is your destiny. <laughs> That's a little bit of a confusion to wrap your head around. Um, but like I said, if you guys want me to create another video on that, maybe comment below and I can, I can do that. The fifth thing is activation of natural healing blueprint. Understand that you are a um, infinite energy body, meaning you are not limited to here. By, and how can we prove that? It's very simple. If you just place your arm and run it along your place your palm, run it along your arm, you'll be able to feel there's something there. If you place it further, you'll feel the feelings different. So why is it that you can feel there's something outside of it, right? Now you're probably thinking, oh, it's because body's warm or whatever. Actually, you can practice in any temperature and you'll still feel something there, right? That's why by practicing energy healing, right? Whether you find an energy healer to work with or a master to teach you, when you practice energy healing and how to work the energy ball, you will find that you are infinite, meaning you are connected to everyone around you for manifestation. I want to give you an example here. For some of you who want to manifest love into your life, actually, what if I was to tell you that they are actually just a split divide energy of you? They are a reflection of you, extended version of you. What if you want to attract maybe some money, a career, a job interview? What if I was to tell you that the person who's interviewing you is also just an extension of you? So once you understand how energy blueprint works, we can expand ourselves to connect on a deeper level. But listen to this. When we understand that, we also understand we are infinite energy bodies. And we also understand every healing that needs to be done because the aura needs to be cleansed for the perfect manifestation. When your energies are, are distracted, there's something called the major chakras. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, with the seven chakra system. But what a lot of people aren't familiar with is the minor chakra system. And this is what I had the fortunate to learn from Grandmaster Akshar about when I was up in the Himalayan mountains. And so when you understand both of these concepts, you're able to free up the energy throughout the whole body to activate your healing blueprint, which means it will get rid of any blockages, any, any energy blockages, any negative beliefs, any doubts, any fears that are stopping you from achieving the thing that you want to achieve. So that is the fifth thing is activation of natural energy healing blueprint, okay? The sixth thing is down to intense focusing. I'm not saying the law of attraction means you just fall asleep and things come your way. Actually, even visualization must be intense focusing. The biggest problem I see a lot of the time when people come to manifesting these days is they come into meditation posture, they close their eyes and they kind of really relax into the moment. And some of, some of the time, and, and you need to admit to this, those of you who have been through this before, you fall asleep. And then you even question yourself. You say, I, I don't know if I fell asleep or not, but it felt really great. Actually, most likely you fell asleep. And so 
my master always says that when it comes to meditation, you need to focus, it's intense focusing. When it comes to visualization, you need to focus so, so intensely. And so the more you focus on, understand what you focus on expands, that is spiritual energy. So make sure next time you are doing visualization, you are focusing very intensely and don't be distracted, right? Without distractions, that's like this laser beam focus. And then that's when the things manifest faster. Then number seven is to connect, to trust and to flow. This is the most difficult thing for most people, especially when they are in need, in desperate need for a, a result to actually happen in their life. Right? They're kind of every single day thinking, why is it not happening yet? Why is it not happening yet? Why is it not happening yet? But we need to be in peace, bliss, high vibrational frequency, in connection with the divine, feeling relaxed, knowing that what you think of is already done and the universe always has your back. Everything is in divine timing. But the interesting thing is when you are relaxed, then the universe will deliver at a much faster pace to you because they know that you're ready to receive. So be ready to receive, guys. If this video has been of any use to you whatsoever, please do hit the thumbs up. Or if you have any questions, make sure to comment in the comments below. Just one final thing before we finish off. Some of you may have joined the masterclass recently on Law of Attraction. Those of you who missed out on it, I want to share with you a very, very, very exclusive opportunity right now to be able to join in an exclusive live training with me for seven weeks. It's called the seven week super creator certification program. And so over the seven weeks, what we'll be doing is we'll be doing all of these activities together to actually manifest together in an open portal space with a very powerful tribe. And so we will be working on breathwork to heaven, cleansing the aura, understanding chakra system, understanding breathwork to connect to the universe, understanding all the fastest ways to raise your vibrational frequency and not just understanding it, but actually practicing it on the calls together. There will be a workbook that will work through step by step. And these are all the different practices that took me 30 days in the mountains with Grandmaster Akshar to actually put together and we're going to cover it over these seven weeks. And aside from that, every week there will be one live call where you can actually ask the questions and I'll do my teachings there. And what will happen is I will be giving you guys homework to practice through the weeks. So it's going to be starting uh, soon. So if you guys have not enrolled on it yet, right now we still have, I think around half of the spaces left. We gave 222 very, very special, special divine spirits, uh, a special opportunity to acquire this at a fraction, fraction, fraction of the investment, meaning we are sponsoring the majority of the investment for you. There is no training that I've ever offered where we're actually doing for this uh, low investment. And the reason we did this is because number one, just to say a thank you to everybody. And this is just to cover the costs of our team working so hard on providing all the different platforms and all the different emails and everything that needs to go on behind the scenes to make this program happen. So those of you who really wanna take your manifestation powers to the next level, what you can do, you will see the first link in the description, but make sure to do this quickly because it's the first time I've publicly announced this. And you guys know every video of mine will reach at least 10,000 to even three, four million views. And so the spaces will fill very, very quickly. I believe we still have around 100 spaces left, but I'm sure it'll go straight after this, um, this, this uh, video. So if you guys want to uh, learn from me direct, um, then this is your opportunity. We will be covering this seven week program and I look forward to actually meeting you guys and actually connecting with you guys on a deeper level rather than you just watching this video. So every, every week there will be Zoom calls and we will be able to connect this tribe together also with the super creators. They say your tribe is your vibe. So I'm looking forward to building this new family, this new, uh, what I call the X-Men, the elite train you guys up so that we can not only manifest what we want in life in abundance, but be able to also go out there and connect together, collaborate and dominate humbly to actually help the world, especially during times like this, where the world needs it most. Guys, uh, if you're interested 
in taking the space. Make sure to do that now before all the spaces go. Um, and in the future, there will never be this offer again. So please don't be emailing the team later on and saying, I missed the opportunity, can I still get it? There will be no more after the first two, two, two. So um, other than that, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to <laughs> hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's our little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, those of you who are interested, make sure to click on the first link in the description and love and blessings to all of you. Namaste.